Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek, and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. So today, what we are going to be doing is very interesting. What you see on my screen is actually what we are going to be doing. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned, and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's tutorial, what I want to say is um, I want to introduce you to Canva Pro and the assorted Canva template. So with Canva Pro, if you are looking at having more than inside of Canva, when it comes to removing your background images, when it comes to resizing your designs to any dimension of your choice, when it comes to publishing your Canva designs from um, Canva to any social media platform, and also when it comes to working with multiple brand kits from your Canva account. Canva Pro is the best thing you know you should invest in and even when it comes to creating animations like we are about to do um, the best thing to go in for is Canva Pro because you're able to have a lot of um, options to choose from you understand and um, there's a link in the description box below that can help you to try Canva Pro today okay and also if you want to test out my um, assorted Canva template which I have created for you these are easy to edit templates and when I say easy to edit templates I mean it okay which helps you to just change things easily and post them according to what you are trying to do so I want you to check it out try it you know at least just one of the ways you can support this channel if you've been enjoying my tutorials okay so check it out and um, just give me your feedback on how to improve on later um, templates okay so yes and you can also join the African Geek community group or community something like that there's a discord link in the description box that would um, lead you to the community i'll be expecting you over there so i think i've been talking a lot but so let's dive into canva and get started with what we are about to create okay so here we are in canva and you can see and this is going to be a very easy tutorial so i just came to a new page and the dimension i'm using is 1920 by 1080 which is a video um dimension on hd dimension okay so the first thing we are going to do is to press r on our keyboard and we'll just trim or crop our shape like this or resize not to crop okay resize like this come over here okay to the border style and with the border rounding just choose five you know like we did in the previous tutorial if you have seen it duplicate it and position it here and i would you know want to make a square so this is all we need then duplicate it okay and position it here so you can see so now what we are going to do is which social media icon do you want to use i would want to use facebook for this one so i will select and say facebook okay so we'll just search for it and um we'll see beautiful facebook stuff okay so i would make it smaller okay and zoom in okay so that yeah this is what we have at the moment which is looking very cute so i'll change the color to a white you understand so um white okay and um there's a blue with a blue color of facebook um this is what i want us to do so i will come into photos okay and i'll search for facebook send yeah so you can see the colors so i will choose this one for an example okay and then we'll just use the color picker to pick the colors so or if there are any better ones um we can use okay so i think it's basically the same okay this one looks much better okay so um yeah i think they are the same so i will choose this one come to colors okay come here to a new color then i use oh canva even generated the colors for us you, you know this is it so i can just choose and maybe just continue by it because i've already done it and maybe choose maybe a different color for this one since facebook is blue and white usually you wouldn't have a lot of options so since this is going to be on top of a video i'll make it white okay so i'll make it white now make this one also white and i know yes we can't see it for now but don't worry about that okay so maybe i'll just come in and choose any video so um i'll go to recently used videos and i'll just pick any okay this one would be cute but you see the background is also white and we wouldn't want to do that so i'll just go in for another video let me go in for this presenter guy drag him over here okay yeah then now we can see our uh, white okay so then i will drop this one downwards okay and bring it to the front select all of it and move it here so this is what we have at the moment so i'll add my text okay position it here and make it bigger 
here so then i will choose my font type okay or my typeface so i'll use poppins or you can also use Montserrat. you can use any one of your choice but i prefer poppins for this one i choose the poppins medium select or at um african geeks okay this is also my instagram handle so you can check me out if this is the first time you are discovering me i've been around waiting for you to come but it looks like you never came till now so yeah you can find me on instagram and um yeah we can we can talk okay so this is the initial step of the whole design so now we just have to um, animate the whole thing okay so this is what i'm going to do i would select the shape behind which is the white okay because you can see the color of this is um you know it's not on any specific color which means we have selected the white and to choose the element you have behind you press control okay and you keep dragging but to make it easier for some of us you know if we are new to canva um just to make it easier we'll just move all of this upward okay so choose the first one this is going to be the first um animation okay so we come to here and we'll choose animate so you can choose any of the animation um design you want but i'm going to use the baseline okay and i'll choose you know to the right so it should appear you know it should just slide in like that and we can also choose the speed depending on how fast you want it but i don't want it to be fast so i'll just reduce it somewhere here like this which is cool and with this one i'm going to do the same thing for this but this should appear first before this okay so baseline and uh, i'll also choose the same thing so you can see how it's looking okay very nice this is how i want it so when all of this um comes in or while this is finishing this will also be appearing you understand so i choose the baseline for this and we choose the same um you know direction then i would reduce it okay but this should appear first and so that's what we have to do so we drag it you understand so depending on how everything is coming in you can just make it look nicely okay so i would select all of this put it here okay then i'll select just this one okay the blue come to the animation and adjust so that i'll make sure aha uh -huh, you can see how it's looking the white comes before the blue okay and that's what we want then the same applies to this okay you would select all of this and um select select and move it oh what is happening okay so select this select this and move it here okay then i choose the blue shape come to animate okay why are you animate and i will choose the same baseline for it okay so that's nice okay but it should the direction should still be you know the same because we want everything to look uniform okay very beautiful very beautiful then with the text we can choose any um, animation style but i'll go for the ascent okay so that it makes it look interesting you see how it's looking then with this also we'll choose the baseline for this very nice because both of them are coming from the bottom so um, we have to make sure that the icon comes first nice before the um the text so this is all you have to do you make sure you animate the white shapes first before you come animating the blue shapes before you come animating this because um, that's how you want them to come in and this can be used on any other one so we can just duplicate okay and you know at this point once you add a new social media icon you'd have to animate it the same way okay but in terms of text and colors you can change everything and you don't have to redo the animation just with this okay so um if you want to do more that's the same procedure you can follow so yes this is what we have been able to do and that's how i was able to create that animation inside of canva i hope you found this tutorial very helpful and if you did there are three things i would expect you to do like the video to support it for other people to also find it you can also subscribe if you want more canva tutorials you can hit on the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload new videos and also check my youtube channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin and don't forget to try Canva Pro and also the assorted Canva template. There is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next tutorial.